Today we are talking about some must know fight tips for when you're just around the corner from the fight. Like it's fight week, things you need to know, mistakes I don't want you to make that I made in the past. So the fight is coming up really fast. Like it's fight week. I'm packing my bags right now, getting ready to head out. But I wanted to put this one episode together for you guys before my departure, because what's important is you don't make the same mistakes that I made. And you don't always have people teaching you these because coaches, they get you in at the gym, they help you out with your technique, they get you in shape, they do all that great stuff but they're not necessarily gonna be there behind the scenes telling you all these little tips that are gonna help you perform your best. They might help you decrease nerves or mess up weight cuts or anything like that. So I could go through a whole massive list of things that I've messed up in the past that I'd like to give you, but today we're gonna to just stick with four or five because that's all I have time for. Tip number one is get your own scale and bring it with you. Why is this so important? Well, in the past, I've not taken my own scale and you show up and there's no scale that you can use. The, the, the promotions are like, oh yeah, the commission is gonna bring them on weigh-in day. And I'm going, well, how the heck am I supposed to know what's happening leading up to it? And sometimes they do have scales there, but they're not always correct. Get your own scale, dial it in at home, Check it maybe on a medical scale, the comparison, make sure it's you know, right there. And then this will help you not have to potentially make extra weight cuts when you get on the scale on the official day. You're like, okay, I should be 145. You get on, you're like, shoot, 146. But my other scale said 145. I've had this happen. Just get your own scale and make sure you understand that the weight is correct. Before we get to the next tip, I wanna take a moment and give a shout out to the partner of this episode. I actually just finished packing my bags and I made sure that I took lots of this with me because the magnesium is gonna be so important on fight week to help with sleeping. Actually, this is just a great tip in general because many of you, and I've talked to many fighters, will struggle with sleep, fight week, nerves, empty stomach as you're cutting weight. You need all the extra help you can get to really dial in that sleep and be massively recovered so that when you get to fight day, you are set to go. Magnesium from Bioptimizers is gonna help with all that. Why? Because they have all seven forms of magnesium in here, not just one or two like many of their competitors. I cannot suggest this product enough. I take it in the morning, I take it at night. And you guys can save 10% with my promo code, Gabriel10. Head over to buyoptimizers.com forward slash Gabriel and get yourself a bottle now. The next tip which I wanna talk about is nutrition, right? You go into the fight, you're like, oh, I'm going to a hotel or whatever and you don't really have the food you need. Like there is food around, but it might not be as clean as what you want. So I've gotten really good at packing up a little bag of groceries for weight cut week. So when I get there, I at least have some stuff, which I know is really good. You maybe can't take everything you want, but taking a little bag, uh, I got some tuna, so I have my protein, got a little bag of nuts. So when I get really hungry, I can get some like, high calorie food into my body without putting on lots of weight. I have my rehydration stuff for after weighing in. Just pack up your own little thing of food and take it with you. I think you'll find it'll really help. Now you always assume when you get to wherever you're going for a fight that there's gonna be an easy way to cut weight. Like there's gonna be a sauna or whatever else you need. And it's not always the case. So I make sure now that I take actually a number of things. I have my little portable sauna that I take with me. Uh, I have my toque and my, all my, my sauna suit. Uh, I have a couple other things that I take as well. Be prepared for a variety of outcomes unless you've confirmed that something is gonna happen. Like, oh yes, 100% there's gonna be a sauna. But then what happens if it breaks down for some reason? There's some maintenance issue or you get there and it's completely full with other fighters. It's always good to be prepared to have a backup plan and you wanna minimize that time it takes you to cut weight. It's no fun doing it for like three hours. So I like to have everything there so I can just bang, 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 go from one thing to the next, maybe a warm bath and then into my sauna blanket and then throw some gear on and go for a little run. Everything's lined up. 
be prepared for that because it's very important to cut weight as efficiently as possible. The last thing that I want to mention to you, and this happened to me in my last fight, when you go on a plane and you put your bag in a check-in, it might not show up. It didn't for me last time. I think I went three or four days without that bag, which had so many things which I needed. So make sure that you have all the essentials in the bag you carry on to the plane. Obviously that's your mouth guard, your cup, maybe a couple other small things like, you know, oh, I absolutely need this food and I won't be able to find it there. Put on a few things that you really need and you carry that with you because you go, at least with this, I can still fight. There's never a guarantee that your bag is gonna show up and I'm about to go do that right now, sort things into my two piles, has to come with me and then the other bag please let it make it. That's always a difficulty, right? You just don't want to end up being somewhere without the essentials. Mouth guard, no mouth guard, how are you going to fight? So yeah, we're going to call it there on this episode, guys. I got a lot to do. Still packing. It's kind of fading right now too. Um, my brain, I can tell it's not working as fast right now. Just lack of calories. So thanks for joining me today. As always, train hard and I will see you guys, I guess, when I get to Austin. <laughs>